What's up guys? Hope you all are doing well here with Robert Oberson. Today happens to be his favorite day. Brian's wearing the size medium shirt. It's my favorite day. Medium. <laughs> Is it? It's not that bad. No, no, not that bad. <laughs> so we are doing log press today. Uh, getting ready for World's Strongest Man. You feeling good? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. I, I, I was feeling a lot better before I grabbed the log for the first warm up, so yeah. it's gonna take a second, but. Well, we're doing a lot of, uh, lot of volume today, actually. Um, I think Oberst is gonna run with me. So when we learned that, that there was a max log at World's Strongest Man, a lot of competitors, what they'll do naturally is move straight into max log. It's like, hey, we have max log this week, we're going max, and so what I'm trying to do is kind of plan it out and have a progression of building up getting a lot more comfortable with the one rep max technique because mm -hmm. it is different from reps. So we're trying to build that base um, and Oberst is uh, definitely ready for the log, I think, yeah. from what we've been talking about. So I think uh, to explain what you're saying too, like yeah. just, just for like layman's terms, he wants to do his best on the day that we compete. That's he doesn't point. want to come in here and be like, oh, I did a really good big log and then go to Worlds and it doesn't translate. Sure. So the, what you want to do, rather than test it maximal right now, let's test the build, make the build up a little bit better. So it's, by the time we go to Worlds, you're used to the volume. Absolutely. And you can well, get a bigger number. Training is always training and the competition is always a competition. And if you want to win, you need to perform at the competition. Training is only the building blocks to get that done. Right. So. Well, they stopped doing competitions that count at the house, right? That, that doesn't happen anymore? <laughs> yeah. Training yeah. only it's, counts <laughs> at the competition Where there's unless other it's and, yeah. 2020, not 2021. Yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's done. That's very done. Done. Water, done. water under the bridge. Home gym yeah. heroes all Let, over. Let's get to it. Go. Good, clean, easy, good. Big punch up. Good. Big pop, good. Punch, good. Stop. Stop. Yep. Good. Easy set, let's go. Good, that's better. Oh! 
Yeah, I'm not supposed to let you off the floor. It's probably in the wrong direction and then I have to figure it out. <laughs> Serious question for you guys. I don't look as ugly as he does when I do them, do I? Please, leave a comment, tell me. Obviously not, but tell me in the comments. You, you kind of look like a beach whale. Next. <laughs> like a whale out of water or something like that? No, no, no. Like a killer whale? No. no. Like free willy? Maybe free willy. This is Brian. Yeah. See, see. I'll give, I'll give you free Willy. I'll get that. You see the way that dude jumped? I'm gonna come over here and jump over this. Like. <laughs> Good. I was in a 24-hour fitness in LA. Yeah. With a buddy of mine, and he was like, he was like, man talking about how in high school or junior high we used to do cartwheels and I was like I could totally do a cartwheel like packed 24 hour fitness in LA yeah I go I cannot do a cartwheel anymore yeah. I hit one hand and then I hit my face and then I rolled my legs over into like somebody's elliptical that they were using I feel like we needed a reenactment no right now I'll get hurt <laughs> But it wasn't good. It would, it would be worth it for the video. <laughs> the people would like to see it. <laughs> if they'll pay for missing competitions and for my medical bills. We'll, start, we'll start a donation <laughs> for, a go for, the, for the Oberst cartwheel <laughs> reenactment. Two, three, let's go. Four, five. Up, come on. Alright guys, working through the training session here, overall a lot of work today and as I said at the beginning of this, the plan was to do a ton of reps on the log, so very small jumps, a lot of reps and uh, I think it took its toll on both of us for sure. uh, going through that. But what we're trying to do with that is reinforce the technique with the singles and so approach it, get geared up, every rep coming up getting that power, getting the log position right, and uh, this is work, and it will carry over to the competition. So overall, I'm happy with the body of work on that. The goal today was just to get up to a fairly comfortable single, and both of us kind of hit that number, jumped over to some seal rows for the upper back. We're getting into some log, seated log with a reverse band set up as an accessory movement. How you feeling, brother? Good? I'm feeling beat up and sore like we've been working hard, but we I have, mean, that's, been working hard, yeah. the goal was to come up here and feel beat up and sore, so yeah. I think we're right on point. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the body of work, right. right? 
it's not just today, it's the other training sessions we put in. So that's what you always got to keep in mind with strongman. It's, it's not just, we're not training just for today. Right. We're training together. So we're going to keep working, keep having fun and uh, making it happen. Singles, huh? Easy up. Good. You want to put weight on? I'll stay here. Okay. Good. Time up. Here we go. Drive it up. There it is. Good job. Guys, wrapping up the training session here. Finished up there with some uh, front hold training. Uh, I think that's an event that a lot of the competitors are kind of questioning, wondering why it is in. I think it's, uh, you know, it's part of the contest, but as far as a judging standpoint, that is a absolutely horrible event to judge. It's an event that everybody tries to cheat on. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of lines they draw with that event, how it's done, what the body position is, how strict they're gonna be. And I hope that it doesn't come down to that for somebody getting in and out because I don't think it's a great strongman event or test of strength in my opinion, but hey, you gotta do what they lay out in front of you, right? Right, right. So. It always ends up that way, you know, there's one or two events that you feel like you wish would be different, yeah. but you know, that's kind of strongman. Yeah. yeah. It's the first front hold I've ever seen at World's Strongest Man since I've started doing it. Since you started doing it. Yeah. But. yeah, they used to have it way back in the old days. Right, right. And it, I thought it was kind of like, oh, it's a back in the old days event. Right. right. That they improved on. <laughs> but uh, hey. I think what it is, is, is uh, they like breaking world records. World records are good for TV. They're good for videos. Is there, you know is, there a, is. is there a front hold world record? Right. Is there? Yes. Okay. I believe it's just over 60 seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, they challenged it at Europe's Strongest Man. And but then again, it's a different implement. So how can you cross that over to a different world record? I think the fact so, that it's going up and down. That's a can of worms we don't want <laughs> to open. Don't want to open. So anyway, I think overall is a great body of work having Oberst out here. I think we both were able to push each other in different ways and uh, get some, some benefit out of the training, which is what it's all about. So huge, huge. I think now it's time for you to go get cleaned up, catch an airplane. I got to get some, get some food in. So Some anyway. Idaho potatoes, we're coming home. 
It is meat and potatoes, baby. Yeah? That sounds good. Maybe you should make some of those for me. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, you've been cooking for me. I have been cooking. been a great I'm, host. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. great host. I've, I've taken good care of you, I feel like. Very good, very good. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing awesome. For now, go on and be great. We'll check you guys later.